so these are the supplies that you're going to need to put together this centerpiece similar to what I'm putting together so first of all I have um, one of these vases from the Dollar Tree and this is the new design that they just came out with this year so I picked up one of these I'm going to use one of those I also have one of the tall vases that have the fluted out lip at the top and I've used this in a previous project so I'm going to reuse it again in this one um, I have a smaller vase with the fluted out lip like this right here and you can see it's about half the size of the big one and then these are brand new also I just spotted these at Dollar Tree um, when I went there today I love that ribbed shape and this is going to be perfect for this project um, then this plate that I have is actually a plate that I got it's a charger plate that I got from um, home goods so I'm going to use that as like a base for our centerpiece then I just have a little crystal um, candle holder you can use the Dollar Tree ones I'm actually going to use this one upside down inside one of my vases like this and this is actually going to be a candle holder I have a battery operated candle and so that's just going to set inside like that um, but any type of, you know, you could do a little dish, you could do anything um, that will set on top or inside of that little small vase. I have some Dollar Tree floral, I have some lilac, I have some of this, I don't know, it's just mixed greenery. Um, I have a couple little cherry blossoms, just some random things that I've collected in the past. Then I have a foam brush. I have some white chalk paint. I actually have a large one. This one's almost gone. And then this one is a new bottle. So it's the same thing, just a little, little smaller in case I run out. I have this lace ribbon, which I'm going to use this on one of these um, vases. And then I have a basket of the nautical twine I actually have a few different sizes this is the nautical twine from the Dollar Tree it's the larger one I have a smaller jute cording right here and then I have a really small cording I think this one is from the Dollar Tree as well I think this is the one that comes in the pack of three um, from Dollar Tree oh one more thing I forgot to add I am also going to be using these reinforcement labels there's these are those little clear um, stickers that go on the edge of like three ring binder paper in case your paper rips I'm going to be using these along with some of these circular thank you stickers that I had all right so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure your vases are clean um, and so I wanted to make sure I took off the labels of the new vases that I bought and now I'm going to start with this one right here so I'm going to do a combination of these round thank you stickers and I'm just going to do, um, I'm going to put them on this glass, just random spots because we're going to give it almost like a polka dot effect with the paint and it's almost going to be like a reverse stencil. So I just put some random stickers all the way around and then I'm going to do the same thing with these little clear reinforcement labels. Now these are going to be somewhat hard to see because they're clear and they're small. I don't know if you can see that, um, but I'm going to put those kind of on there as well. And when we peel them off, there'll be a circle within a circle. All right, so now I'm just giving my vase a quick coat of the Waverly White chalk paint. And as you can see, I'm just painting right over those stickers that I put on. And you'll probably need a couple of coats um, of this chalk paint. But the nice thing is that it dries really fast, so you can do this pretty quickly. Okay, so I'm also going to give this small little jar or this small little base a quick coat of the um, white chalk paint as well. OK, 
Okay, so while those two are drying, the first coat of paint is drying on the two that I just did, I'm gonna work on these other two vases. Now, I have a tall one and a shorter one, and I also poured myself a little bit of Mod Podge in a little container, and then I have this white lace ribbon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut out a piece of ribbon that wraps around my tall vase first. And I'll set that aside for a second. And we are gonna montage this ribbon right to the front of our vase. I'll put a little Mod Podge um, on my vase to kind of start it out. And then we'll Take some more Mod Podge and just Mod Podge that ribbon right to the base. Okay, so I have one strip of ribbon Mod Podged right to the front of our base here. We're gonna let that dry. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this smaller base. We're gonna take some ribbon, measure out enough to just go around and cut it off and we're going to mod podge this right to the front of this vase as well definitely a good idea to put a coat of mod podge on the vase all the way around before you put on your ribbon that will give the ribbon something to stick to before you apply a top coat of the Mod Podge. So I'm just making like a ring, the same width as the ribbon, all the way around. And then you can just apply your ribbon and it should sit down into that ring of Mod Podge, just like glue. You kind of press it down into place. And then you can go over the top with more Mod Podge. So oh, my vase is dried and now I'm just starting to pull off the little stickers. And if you're careful, I'm actually just using a little craft knife just to get them started. I'm just gonna find one of the stickers. They come off pretty easily and you can just peel them off like that and then you have these little see-through polka dots on your vase. So I'm going to go ahead and continue just pulling all of these little stickers off and then we'll move on to the next part. Okay so I have all of my stickers peeled off of my vase and both faces, both the small and the larger one are dry as well as the lace is dried on um, these vases right here. I'm going to use this medium sized jute cording and I'm going to take a little bit of hot glue. I'm just going to put some right on the rim and I'll put my jute cording in the hot glue. I'll go around about halfway. I'll do another little dot about halfway. That's Jameson in the background playing by the way. And I'm going to wrap this a few times around, putting hot glue about every halfway around. All right, once I get back to where I started, I'm going to cross over the top. See, this is where I started right here. I'm going to just cross over. I'm going to clip it where I started. And I'm going to put some hot glue over the rope over the cording and to the back to the beginning again and it's going to create this like little crisscross shape on the front here's our thin twine and we're going to wrap this one quite a few times around this smaller base just start it out i'm actually just going to wrap it quite a few times. This one you don't have to go halfway. Just 
a couple more times. And then back to the beginning again. I'll clip. So we've got our cording wrapped around the front and I'm gonna do a little bow on this one. Now I've showed how to do these little jute cord bows before. I'm gonna use four fingers. I'm gonna wrap the cording around my fingers quite a few times. I'm gonna cut. Then I'm gonna go up in between my middle and ring finger. I'm gonna cut that off. And then I'll tie right in between my middle and ring, ring finger. And then pull your fingers out and you can tie it tighter, do a double knot. Right. Now you have this cute little kind of rustic bow and you can trim these edges or these tails so that they're not um, hanging down long. Just like that, okay? And then right where we were gluing um, to begin with, we're gonna put a little bit more hot glue and we'll just put our little jute bow on the front of that one. All right, let's work on the last two lace vases. And we're gonna use our large nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. Now I will link all of these ropes and cords in the description of the video so that if you don't have them already, you can order them off of Amazon. All right, now I'm gonna do a border of the rope cording around the top. A little dab of glue. All right, I cut the rope off and we're just gonna finish gluing it. And we're gonna repeat this same thing at the bottom of our lace as well. So we'll have a rope at the top and a rope at the bottom. And this is just gonna cover up the space that you can see the uh, Mod Podge underneath the lace. Okay, so there is my tall vase with the nautical rope and lace. And we're gonna do the same thing with the smaller one. And we're going to go around the top of the lace and the bottom of the lace the same way with the nautical rope. All right, so there's the small one done. And I'm just loving how these turned out. So that one is going to go, um, here's the dish that they all are going to sit on. And then we're going to take our candle holder and flip it upside down and set it down inside this one. And this is going to be a candle holder. Now we're going to take some of our flowers and start adding some flowers to this arrangement. So there is the final centerpiece that we finished and you can see all the little vases are there and I love how that little nautical rope just adds a little bit of that rustic touch and it kind of um, incorporates that um, ribbon, this burlap ribbon that we put in the baskets and also the little burlap baggies that we have our silverware in. I just love how it all turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, turn on that little notification bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care.